so this guy he cheated on his wife or this man for that matter and then she found out and forgave him and they moved on but then as time went by you won't believe what happened and hello everyone and i welcome you to the gospel with ishmael i come again and i explain you heard what i said in the beginning right he cheated she found out he asked for forgiveness she forgave him but as time went by you won't believe what happened this is what happened let me tell you that the fact that for the first time ever especially from him she got to find out that he shared a bed with another woman as much as he apologized as much as he said let bygones be bygones you know what it did in the future as time went by she knowing deep down that she was trying by all means to hold herself together when other men approached she would say no now you know what I'm, what I'm getting into right yes so now fast forward realizing that how much she's been resisting the temptation knowing that he is probably still out there not resisting she gave up and she was like you know what i'm cheating back i know that we are i apologized but how can i ever forgive him again you know they say trust is like glass once broken it can never be mended together and indeed she cheated on him and when he found out he was so heartbroken at the time where he thought it was all done they are cool and she cheated it hurt him it was bad what i'm saying to you is this i have always been scared about wronging somebody and taking their word for it when they said they have forgiven me it is over we are cool because i could see that the pattern of people later revenging it is as common some they have a decision that you know what i'm gonna act like it's cool i'm gonna make this person be paying my school fees i'm gonna make this person do this and that and then i turn against them i remind them of their past sin that's what they do let me tell you something about your own sister main matter in this message your sister your sister your sister your sister that is why i want to repeat this statement you think that it was over but to them it's payback time that is why some you will think that it was nothing and not a big deal you got married you get married they are jealous but then deep down they can't wait to get married to a better looking man to get married to a better husband according to their eyes and they throw it back in your face hey look at mine or they buy a car you know hmm, my car i like the fact that it's a branded car it is bigger it's not a small car to show that they are shading you you thought that they were happy for you you thought that uh but all along they were having an eye that they can't wait to do better than you. they can't wait to revenge you they can't wait to do something and to show you and they finally show you and you wonder where is this coming from so all along i was supportive to this person praying for them to also get married praying for them to also get a house praying for them to also buy a car and now that they got a car to them the aim was to get a better car and then show it and shade me with it you need to be careful they want the revenge be careful of people whom you think that they are cool with you whereas they want revenge one of my biggest fears i'm just glad i never got to experience it but i also knew got to experience it but i also knew like the example i gave you in the beginning of cheating i knew that if ever i am to cheat probably i cheat on my wife likely she will revenge me in the future that is one thing i always knew so i was like hey better i stay away from it because if i am to cheat and she finds out whereas she had been faithful to me it's gonna put me in danger in fact i should consider that she 
will have her revenge on me. The day she gets highly tempted, she's going to give in. Why should I resist? Why should I fight it? Whereas it's not fighting it. You know what I mean? That is why I knew that you need to beware. I knew, I just forgot the story. But I think some lady also once shared a story with me. A guy cheated and then she forgave him. But as time went by, she also cheated back as well. It's another story, of course. But then it also got to prove my theory. That as much as you think it's all bygones, it is not. This applies in every area. You think it is over, but they're eyeing at you. They want to get back at you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. May the Lord give you the sensitivity, the discernment to know those close to you who are aiming to revenge against you. May the Lord protect and fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, remember, you can also book a consultation with me. All the details are in the comment section below. See you next time.